The Study of Megalodon About two and a half million years ago, an enormous predator dominated these waters. For more than 20 million years, a totus megalodon was the unquestioned apex predator of the Earth's oceans. Its gigantic teeth can be found now on every continent from Southeast Asia to Australia, from the pristine beaches of the Caribbean to the topless beaches of France. Cruising through our oceans at only a few knots, this behemoth was the terror of the seven oceans. Whales and dolphins pushed their tails up and down, an evolutionary relic of the land-going ancestors. Many docile whales almost never attack human beings though sperm whales have been known to attack whaling ships in self-defense. But this meat-eater isn't a whale. It's the largest shark ever to occupy these waters. Speed The fastest a scuba diver can manage is about 5 to 7 km per hour, but sharks like the Great White can reach 40 km per hour and have been known to achieve short bursts as high as 56 km an hour. Though a 2015 study showed that Megalodon could reach 18 km per hour, faster than any human swimmer, had Megalodon not gone extinct some 3.6 million years ago, beachgoers would have to watch helplessly from land as the great shark gulped down each researcher with the ease of a pelican swallowing minnows. Time and nature have slowly destroyed all evidence of the enormous predator's spine and ribs, all made of hard cartilage. His eyes, brain, and internal organs have disappeared too. Almost all that we found of the enormous predators are long teeth, nearly the shape of a great white shark's tooth, but three times longer. It's from this that researchers Jack Cooper of the University of Bristol and Catalina Pimiento of the University of Zurich have come up with estimates of the shark's length. Using allometry and linear analysis, they arrive at an average length of a staggering 10 meters much larger than the great white shark, the stuff of nightmares. Bite Force These gigantic teeth were once assumed to be from giant snakes or even dragons. Yet when Swiss-born American paleontologist noticed the remarkable similarity between the teeth of Megalodon and the extant great white shark, he classified them as part of the same family, Carcharodon, meaning simply shark tooth. But closer inspection by modern paleontologists reveals that the massive predator was more closely related to stockier, more muscular basking shark and sand tiger shark, making it difficult to estimate the size of megalodon. The massive megalodon tooth had the greatest bite force in all of nature, at least three times the force of even T Rex. It could press down with 10 to 20 tons of force, easily enough to bite through an engine block. And with a mouth so large, it wouldn't need to. Megalodon could swallow a small car without chewing. This also means that researchers have had to extrapolate the length and weight of Megalodon using smaller, two-meter-long animals, making it much more difficult to come up with an accurate weight or length. Size In 2019, researcher Kenshu Shimada compared Megalodon to the Great White, giving a maximum length of 14 to 15 meters longer than Tyrannosaurus rex. But Pimiento and Cooper used regression analysis and examined closer relatives in 2020, arriving at an even longer 16 meters, nearly two school buses long. In March of 2021, researcher Victor Perez of the Department of Vertebrate Paleontology, Florida Museum of Natural History, used a new method. He added up the width of discovered megalodon teeth to provide a larger than expected jaw width. Compared to its closer relatives like the sand tiger shark, linear analysis provides a maximum length of an unbelievable 20 meters, longer than most whales. Such a length and ruggedness would also make Megalodon a much heavier animal, with females of the species reaching perhaps more than 60 tons, more than an entire herd of elephants. Could newer Megalodon tooth fossils and new phylogenetic research give us an even better look at this massive predator? Only time will tell. That was all for today. Don't forget to comment what we should do next.